Welcome to this presentation on NX Electrical Routing and Harness Design. NX includes a fully integrated 3D electrical harness routing application that allows users to design and route harnesses in complex assemblies. Built upon the NX routing application's architecture, the electrical routing tools provide electrically smart features and functions to automate the design, modification and analysis of the wire harnesses. NX electrical routing enables integration with all electrical disciplines including systems design, logical design, PCB design, physical design, electrical analysis, manufacturing, installation, service documentation and service delivery. NX Electrical Routing consists of three modules. The first module is NX Routing Base. This includes the general capabilities to place parts, manage libraries with path creation and editing functions. NX Routing Harness allows for the importing of net lists, calculating bundle diameters and wire lengths. It can identify minimum bend radius violations and produce design and manufacturing documentation such as form board. NX Routing Cabling supports conduits and raceways. It can facilitate the production of design documentation such as 2D representations of cable tray layouts. NX Routing Base is the base electromechanical routing module. In this demonstration I'll be routing wires for a motor control system in this tile stacking machine. To see the components I first need to open the door of the control box. Parts such as connectors can be placed in the assembly using the standard assembly functions or the routing place part command. Parts can be selected from the file system, a library or through parametric selection. Here the connectors are placed using predefined or qualified smart connection ports. These ports contain information on how the connector is located and orientated. Parts have the connection ports added to them by using the qualify part command. First a fitting port is added. Fitting ports are used to connect devices or terminate a routing path. The port is located at the middle of the face. Next the port direction is defined away from the connector. An orientation is required as this connector cannot rotate. Where the wires leave the back shell, a fixture port is used. Fixture ports do not terminate a wire as a fitting port does, but allows the wires to pass or slide through the port. As before, a location and direction is selected. As the wire is to pass straight through the hole, we can define a straight section of the wire where we've built 20mm from the connector and 3mm into the connector. A multi-port is added where multiple pins need to be connected. As before, the location, direction and orientation are selected. Extension and cutback values are used for the create terminal function to strip and display the wire terminations. The extension value provides a 15mm straight section from the pins and the cutback length of 40mm strips the insulation on the harness. The individual pins are defined and located. The pins are numbered 1 through 9 and placed. The connector is now qualified and ready to be used in an assembly. Paths are routed between points in an assembly. Segment shapes can be defined as straight, circular or spline. 
The spline may best represent any flexible route, including wires, cables and hoses. Here a spline route is being placed from a port in a connector through two clamps to another connector. A temporary stock of 5mm is added to the route curve. The shape of the spline can be dynamically altered by modifying the extension values on the ports. Additional paths are connected by simply selecting any point on an existing path and then continuing the route. As ports have a direction, the direction can be flipped to give the required result. The path continues through clamps towards the motor unit. Extensions are edited to provide more cable slack. Once placed, route curves can be edited to add additional points. These points can then be moved to improve shape and location. The route is now complete with temporary stock. NX Harness allows the user to import and combine schematic and logical information into NX. Once combined, the connections can be displayed, bundle diameters and lengths calculated. Two harness navigators are available. The component navigator on the right shows the device connector association. The connection navigator below shows the connections and their logical path. The connection wizard allows the user to create connections through an interactive interface. The connection name is entered in the first panel. The from and to connectors are selected and given their logical names. The wire type is selected with colour information. When completed, the wire is shown. When repeating the wizard for the next wire, the logical information is maintained and only the new parameters need to be input. Logical netlists can be imported from external text files. These can be from Excel spreadsheets or extracted from NX schematics or other schematic software. The import, export formats, navigator displays and filters are user definable. The component file is imported into the electrical component navigator. Once imported, the logical information is assigned to the NX component files. Where possible, the matches are made automatically. Then the remaining components can be manually assigned.
the netlist or harness file is imported into the electrical connection navigator. The logical connections can now be displayed in the 3D model. The auto route command will process the connection information, replace the default stock with a recalculated bundle diameter and produce the wire length values. The overstock command adds stock that represents some form of mechanical attachment or protection. For example, it could represent tape or flexible conduit. Here an overstock is added between two clamps. Wires can be stripped back to show each wire at termination. Only those wires connected are shown in this example. The form board is created from the harness level. From within the create form board command, a drawing format is chosen and a representation of the straightened harness is produced. Inputs such as cut length roundup and default branch angles can be selected. The main run can be modified from longest or thickest or user defined. Once created, the form board segments can be shaped to suit the drawing or manufacturing requirements. In this case, radial bends are being added to the segments. The drawing layout is opened and views added. User-defined pin lists are placed associative to the connector. An example of a user-defined cut list. Simply selecting a path will allow the editing of the path definition. Points can be added, moved or deleted. When a component is moved, the path retains its associativity and can lengthen or shorten to satisfy the attachment to the device. The path length can be locked at a known value. Now when the connector moves, the impact is shown along the whole path to maintain the path length. Moving a device by assembly constraints updates the connector and wire locations. Running the HD3D tool for a routing checkmate test shows where violations of bend radius have occurred. Editing the route spline by removing points and reducing extension lengths repair the route. The routing design rule validation tool can locate errors in large harnesses.
running the HD3D tool again clears the errors. After modifications have been made to the harness, the form board can be synchronised to reflect the changes. The harness can be substituted with a later version or the existing harness updated. Discrepancies are found and then listed and the route updated. The updated form board layout is reflected in the drawing. The new length values in the cut list are updated. Thank you for watching this presentation on NX Routing Electrical Base and NX Routing Harness.